Hey fellow astronomers, this is uh, our telescope automated cover and flat panel uh, system uh, design. It essentially uses a, a servo from Amazon. They're 20 bucks or 16 bucks, something like that. Uh, there is a 3D printed three part system. One is the base for the servo. The second is the outer frame for the cover and then or for the telescope. And then there's a, a outside 3D printed cover that's got the illumination panel in, inside. Uh, this one's actually a square one and uh, my other videos I talked about why that's that way. Uh, some of the other ones like here on the 127, this is a straight uh, flat panel, um, you can see. Same design, got a servo on the top, got the base plate, got the frame, and then the outside lip. Uh, it's all being controlled uh, essentially by an Arduino 8266. Uh, three of those are a whopping 15 bucks on Amazon. There is another servo that controls the, uh, the light board uh, uh, voltage. And you can't just uh, throw in anything. These are actually from Technolite. These things are awesome. Um, but they input 12 volt, output 120 volts at 450 hertz. So um, you do got to get those from them. And I couldn't directly control that, so I had to do the servo and MacGyver it. Um, but so there's essentially just two servos. Uh, the relay is not needed. The relay is only on this one because so I can switch between the output of this between different scopes. Uh, but the Arduino has got a full web server that uh, uh, that I wrote, and I'll throw all the 3D prints and the web server and everything, all the code that I made online for anybody that wants it uh, free. Um, but I can basically go over here and click on my scope, and I will say open and. There she goes. And then with that, there's my illumination panel. And um, I can go ahead and set any level of brightness that I want um, between basically zero and, and 270 degrees for the, for the servo. But if I go ahead and just set that whatever I want, you heard the servo just click there. So essentially, the servo on the board simply rotated, which changed the potentiometer which would have changed the brightness. And I know that's probably really hard to see, but it is on and again, can change the different brightnesses. So I'll go ahead and close this guy. Close. And there it is. Closing. And bam. And I should have showed there's actually an inside and an outside lip to this that I really like. So it kind of seals, it actually goes into the scope and seals a little bit better. Um, I did a double rather than just a single thing. We, we printed a double uh, support thing. So it is pretty, pretty solid. We're hoping that these uh, work very well for us. I'll go ahead and show you the other box system, which is the SV80. Go ahead and open that guy. So that guy's opening over here. Very, very similar design, a little bit different with the little 80. Um, it's actually got this, the illumination panel. I think where this was a five inch was the size we needed. Uh, so you can see again, there's the inside lip, if you can see that. And then, um, so the illumination panel is actually on the inside of here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty slick. That one's got a separate controller. So that controller system um, controls both the Explorer Scientific and the SV80. Uh, the other system here that we've got on the AP1200 mount is uh, controlling this one as well as uh, the light board for our C11 here. So I can jump over to the C11, switch to the C11, and it gives me all my settings for the C11. And for example, I can turn on the light board if that turns on. There we go. So pretty slick. Um, hopefully it works well. Again, I'll post everything online for anybody that wants it. Uh, I did print these in PLA, and I'm sure once it gets hot, they're going to warp, so I am going to reprint everything in ABS, um, if not even something else. Um, but, um, but yeah, clear skies, guys.